viewer discretion is advised. Dr. Steelhammer here. We got some historic footage out of the archives. Tokido Evo 2002 versus Justin Wong. Look at the way they used to play Third Strike. Sit on the other end of the screen, build your meter, and if you're playing Urian, you gotta do a tackle. Well, didn't work the first time. What about the second? Nope. You know what? When in doubt, tackle into Aegis. Dash, UOH, still very strong. This is a historic moment, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first time, to my knowledge, that anybody in the United States was ever hit with what is known as a corner unblockable by Urian. Tokido's doing an interesting version with like the back dash tackle. There's easier ways to do it, but yeah, that blew everyone's mind. We're gonna learn how to do it today. We're gonna cover how they work, how do you land them, and who do you use them on. Corner unblockables, how do they work? Magnets, how do they work? Do a corner unblockable, you do tackle into jab Aegis in the corner, and then you're able to bring her in with a corpse carry. So that is a roundhouse tackle that brings her in, and then you do a medium or roundhouse knee drop to hit her in the back of the neck. There's a moment where Chun is being hit by the mirror in the front and the knee drop in the back, and she's incapable of blocking. Right there, blocking will not help you. You have to parry out of that. People in 2002 didn't know how to parry it, and people in 2020 don't know how to parry it. There's four main ways to get to that corner unblockable. There's the knee drop corpse carry, the tackle corpse carry, the jump partition corpse carry, and the character Necro himself is very, very easy to abuse. Chun-Li is a very standard corner unblockable character. If you do EX tackle, 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 you're able to do what's known as a knee drop corpse carry. That happens because the juggle meter is exhausted and the knee drop will not hit. You can also do a walk back roundhouse tackle corpse carry, which will also give you an opportunity to start the corner unblockable with medium or roundhouse knee drop. So theoretically, these unblockables would work on any character, it's just they're easier to set up on certain characters. Like Makoto, she's very fat, and she's easy to abuse with the medium tackle corpse carry. So you can do roundhouse or medium, but medium is something that Ushi showed many years ago, and I think it's easier. Some people like roundhouse. You can also do the jump partition. So the dash is the corpse carry there. That is a jump partition knee drop. I show how to do charge partitions in the charge partition Leaving Mongolia video. Shodos are characters that I think are pretty average in terms of your ability to abuse with corner unblockables. That same roundhouse knee drop corpse carry applies if you exhaust the juggle meter. The medium tackle corpse carry is something that I use. You can also do roundhouse tackle on Shodos. I just don't think it's as easy as the medium tackle. There are other opportunities uh, if you do tackle, tackle, jab, Aegis into the jump partition. You're also able to pull this off. And those don't have to be ended with launcher. You can do stand medium punch EX headbutt for huge stun. You can do a couple things. Whatever you want. That's the goal of Urian is do whatever you want. This is a really cool setup. Kuroda showed this on his stream a while back. I added the corner unblockable at the end, but it's the reverse tackle. I'll show you how to do that in another Leaving Mongolia video. And you can do, because the juggle meter is completely depleted, you're able to do the roundhouse corpse carry off the knee drop, which brings Ryu back into the mirror for the roundhouse or medium kick knee drop corner unblockable. So I put this in to show an example of what would happen if you didn't exhaust the juggle meter. Right there, that knee drop will hit. You're able to tackle back in for a 50-50. But on this setup, because there are no points left on your juggle meter, the knee drop will continue the corpse carry and not hit. It's a tiny little thing, but it does change what setup you choose. Lane is a character that has a pretty reliable corner unlockable off of launcher, light kick tackle, jab fireball, light kick tackle, jab ages, roundhouse knee drop, medium or roundhouse knee drop to break the guard in the corner. You can loop it multiple times. It's cool, works, 
something I keep in the back of my mind. That ender right there, I didn't put in my Elena 5 Minute Murder and it drove me crazy. Nice Guy Mark reminded me of it. Hugo, certainly not a character that I'll be using Corner Unblockables on often. There is this old school RX setup that kind of bleeds nicely into a potential Corner Unblockable. The secret to that combo is to do the first tackle as late as possible and then the instant launcher afterwards. There are a lot of ways to mess with Hugo in the corner. I don't really think corner unblockables are high on the priority list, but it's interesting to know that they are possible. Alex is a character that unblockables in the corner work if you have the execution hit the initial combo. It's that launcher, light kick tackle, jab, fireball that really messes this whole thing up. If you're able to land it, you're able to cancel into jab Aegis and you can loop this three times and, and win. I, I could never imagine doing that in a match. I had to take off all my clothes and sweat it profusely to land it for the video, but it's definitely a setup I use more and more as I'm getting comfortable with it. Necro is a character that you can absolutely abuse with these. Launcher, light kick tackle, jab fireball, light kick tackle, jab fireball, medium ages, stand medium punch, roundhouse, knee drop, roundhouse, knee drop. That is an RKF setup. It's incredibly difficult to get out of. There's weird interactions where Regardless of what shows up, the Necro has to parry, but sometimes I don't even know what setup's going to come out of it. It's really, really cool, but sometimes I don't have time for all those setups, and I just drop a Jab Aegis and do a Roundhouse Knee Drop, and it's essentially the same. I mean, these Necro players, they have a lot on their plate playing against Urians. Uh, 12 is a character that if you're able to hit his bread and butter in the corner, there's no reason why you shouldn't at least attempt to throw in a corner unblockable every once in a while. It's a medium tackle right there, not a light kick tackle like almost every other character in similar combo situations. And you just loop it the way you would. It's got very little health and he's dead. Urian's another character that you can do corner unblockables on fairly reliably. You can use the roundhouse tackle corpse carry here, or you can also use the medium kick tackle corpse carry, which is showed right here kind of a preference thing. I like medium. Most people like roundhouse. I had never seen medium until like maybe two years ago. Ushi showed in a match video against Makoto. I think it was like a long ass time ago, but since I found it, I really like it. You can also do tackle fireball, tackle ages. You start with medium tackle against Urian. If you get on the other side, and this is going to happen a lot, it happens when you do that knee drop too early. You're going to want to do launcher and then another launcher. You can kind of just hit it twice. There's no real skill involved in hitting that second launcher. Goki, of course he can teleport, but if he doesn't, you just melt him. He is absolutely eviscerated by a corner unblockable. Stand medium punch, EX headbutt, tackle, tackle, tackle. Bye bye Goki. Say hi to your kids, Goki. Oh, you murdered them. Oops, sorry. Carry keys, boost change. Holy shit! Uh, 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 back up! Stand back up! I got the gun! 